So, are you ready for the test? Wait, there was a test today? <coughs> don't be that person. You gotta study. Hello, I don't know about you guys, but I've got exams coming up and decided to do a video on studying. Everyone studies differently and there are some people who don't study at all, but I'll give you some advice on how I study. A lot of the time, it's very difficult to feel motivated to study, and then you end up procrastinating and, you know. So whenever you feel like you don't want to study, just think of your goal. It could be to graduate or, like, your career goal, and then you need to do well in order to achieve that goal. However, if I'm being realistic, is that really going to be enough motivation for you to want to study? Now, my favorite motivational trick, and this can work with homework too, or anything really, choose your favorite snack or candy. Like, M&Ms are good ones because they're small, but anything really would work. Now, after every page, or once you have a certain amount memorized, eat one. Keep in mind, you need to have self-control for this one. You can always wait until you're done and then eat them all, but do not eat them all before you even started. I believe in you. You have that power. Now, when you study, you need to have a good studying environment with little distractions or wherever you seem to absorb information the most. I usually study at my desk with my lamp and some tea. Lighting a candle would be cool, but I don't actually do that. Play a music if you prefer, have a snack with you, and most importantly, don't forget to take breaks. Make sure you're actually working though. No sitting and going on your phone for an hour and then calling quits. Now this one is important, so pay attention. Don't have your phone near you. It will tempt you to go on it. Unless you're waiting on an important message or phone call, turn the sound off and put it far out of your reach. Get rid of any other potential distractions and then you're all set. I study different ways depending on what it's for, so I'll cover a few different methods and things I do. I find math the hardest to study for since there is not much memorizing involved unless there is formulas, and if I understand the concepts, I don't really feel like I need to study. However, if, especially if for something like an exam, you still should. Alright, if there's any formulas or anything that need memorizing, I suggest you get familiar with those. But don't focus all your time just memorizing like all the numbers and letters that are in it. You need to actually know how to use it. So the easiest way is to practice. My teacher always gives reviews with review questions and if you get that, I highly recommend you use it. If there's a specific part you don't understand, ask the teacher. Or if you're like me and feel uncomfortable doing that, then ask a friend or something first. Or look on Google, but the internet might use a different method than what the teacher used, so maybe that's a last resort. And if you've practiced enough, then all those formulas, you'll probably basically have them memorized from using them so much. So basically just practice, practice, practice. And I get that a lot of the questions are just going to be repetitive, the same sort of things, and if you've been repeating the same sort of like type of questions multiple times and then it's okay if you skip a few but make sure that you don't just stop midway because I found that like all the thinking questions are usually at the end of my reviews and stuff so you got to get to those because like it prepares you for the test more because even if you understand the concepts you also need to understand how to apply it in like those sort of questions. Alright now for basically anything else. So for my tests, I usually type a review, and writing would probably help you remember it better, but I prefer typing. Then you just put all the information on it, print it out, and then use a highlighter to highlight subtitles, definition words, or anything else to make it pop out more. This is what I usually do, and then I bring the review to school and read it over in my free time. At home, I read it out loud because I find I better retain the knowledge. I suggest you do this too, just like be by yourself and then just 
talk out loud. Sometimes you could try doing different accents or like different voices to be a bit more, I don't know, entertaining. And sometimes it's good to share reviews with other people to see if you missed anything. Also, if you have any friends in that class, then I suggest you study together because why not? That way you'll both like better, like help each other with what you know and don't know. A pet peeve of mine is when the teacher gives out a, re a review sheet like a day before the test and I have to make the review and study it all in one night. Luckily, not many of my teachers have done that, so... Oh, also making cue cards is a good idea as well. Like, cue cards are good for, like, memorizing definitions or something. For exams, I do a lot of different steps, to be honest. Okay, so first I type my review like usual, and sometimes I'll edit and add stuff if the teacher gives more information, like, oh, make sure you know this for the exam, then you would, like, just add that into your review. And then I rewrite it in a notebook. And I use pretty colors and diagrams because that's just me, I like doing that sort of thing. And it's not only aesthetically pleasing, it also helps you retain the knowledge better by rewriting it. I also enjoy looking at it more because, I mean, if it looks nice, then it's funner than if just everything is in pencil. Also, a cool hack is chewing gum while studying helps you remember stuff better. I'm sure you've heard this before and... I'm not supposed to chew gum with my braces, so let me know if it actually works, because I haven't tried it. In all, try not to stress too much for whatever it is you're studying for. I'm a hypocrite when it comes to that, though, because the day before and the day of my exams, I'll be freaking out inside. Still, I'm sure you'll do great in whatever you're doing. If not, don't worry about it. Remember, mental health is important and don't study all night because good sleep before a test or exam is just as important as studying. Something I like to use is the final grade calculator. You put in your current mark, how much your exam is worth, and your goal. If your goal is lower than your current mark, it'll make you feel better than if your goal is higher than your current mark, just so you know, but I find it helpful and it gives me insight on what I need to do. I'll put the link in the description, if I remember. Now, tell me in the comments your studying methods and how not to stress over exams if you know how, because I haven't figured that out yet. Have an amazing day. Bye! I love how you guys are drawing Bill with my little character. It's so cute. Also, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. Like, whoa.